Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Mass today on Thursday, the 4th of March, and the second week of Lent. Mass today is a thanksgiving for the family of Fail and Ditcho. Praying to for Christine Galindo, Brian Hubbs, Paul Gallagher, Stephen Sheila Nightingale, and Mariano Gallego, who died a short while ago. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Jeremiah tells us to trust in the Lord rather than in man. The story of Lazarus shows how a life of ease and comfort can lead to alienation from God. Let's pause now to prepare. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who delight in innocence and restore it, direct the hearts of your servants to yourself, that caught up in the fire of your Spirit, we may be found steadfast in faith and effective in works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. The Lord says this, A curse on the man who puts his trust in man, who relies on things of flesh, whose heart turns from the Lord. He is like dry scrub in the wastelands. If good comes, he has no eyes for it. He settles in the parched places of the wilderness, a salt land uninhabited. A blessing on the man who puts his trust in the Lord, with the Lord for his hope. He is like a tree by the waterside that thrusts its roots to the stream. When the heat comes, it feels no alarm. Its foliage stays green. It has no worries in the year of drought and never ceases to bear fruit. The heart is more devious than any other thing. Perverse, too, who can pierce its secrets? I, the Lord, search the heart, I probe the loins, to give each man what his conduct and actions deserve. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Happy indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor lingers in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of scorners, but whose delight is the law of the Lord, and who ponders his law day and night. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. He is like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves shall never fade, and all that he does shall prosper. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Not so are the wicked, not so, for they, like winnowed chaff, shall be driven away by the wind. For the Lord guards the way of the just, but the way of the wicked leads to doom. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. I will leave this place and go to my Father and say, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, there was the rich man who used to dress in purple and fine linen and feast magnificently every day. 
And at his gate there lay a poor man called Lazarus, covered with sores, who longed to fill himself with the scraps that fell from the rich man's table. Dogs even came and licked his sores. Now the poor man died and was carried away by the angels to the bosom of Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried. In his torment in Hades he looked up and saw Abraham a long way off with Lazarus in his bosom. So he cried out, Father Abraham, pity me, and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am in agony in these flames. My son Abraham replied, Remember that during your life good things came your way, just as bad things came the way of Lazarus. Now he is being comforted here while you are in agony. But that is not all. Between you and us, a great gulf has been fixed to stop anyone if he wanted to crossing from our side to yours and to stop any crossing from your side to ours. The rich man replied, Father, I beg you then to send Lazarus to our father's house, since I have five brothers, to give them warning so that they do not come to this place of torment too. They have Moses and the prophets, said Abraham. Let them listen to them. I know, Father Abraham, said the rich man, but if someone comes to them from the dead, they will repent. And Abraham said to him, if they will not listen either to Moses or to the prophets, they will not be convinced, even if someone should rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. First reading uses those two images, the scrub in the wasteland where there's no such thing as good growing weather or gentle irrigation, and the well-rooted tree growing steadily beside a stream. The word translated scrub really means a plant stripped bare in the desert. These images prepare us for the gospel reading about the rich man and Lazarus. This story about Lazarus comes only in Luke, another of those dreadful warnings of the danger of wealth. For Luke gives us always the gospel to the poor. Contrast the welcome given to Jesus by the shepherds and the fabulously wealthy King Herod. We see the rich man's continuing self-absorption. Even after death, he still doesn't recognize Lazarus's existence and thinks only of his own burning tongue. God enlightens us with the grace of the Holy Spirit, that our lives may be filled with justice and faith. Let us proclaim his mercy in our morning prayer. Lord, give life to the people redeemed by Christ. Lord, unite bishops, priests, and deacons more closely with Christ through the mystery of the Eucharist. Renew in them each day the grace of ordination. Lord, give life to the people redeemed by Christ. Nourish the faithful with the food of Christ's word. Feed them with the bread which is his body. Lord, give life to the people redeemed by Christ. Grant that we may respect the dignity of every person, redeemed by the precious blood of your Son. Let us never violate their rights or conscience. Lord, give life to the people redeemed by Christ. Save us from the blind pursuit of wealth. Make us sensitive to the needs of others. Lord, give life to the people redeemed by Christ. Be merciful to those who have left our world today. Give them everlasting happiness. Lord, give life to the people redeemed by Christ. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord God, you love innocence of heart, and when it is lost, you alone can restore it. Turn then our hearts to you, and kindle in them the fire of your Spirit, 
so that we may be steadfast in faith and unwearied in good works. <clears throat> Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, <clears throat> for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you. Lord, wash away my Pray now, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. By this present sacrifice, we pray, O Lord, sanctify our observances, that what Lenten discipline outwardly declares, it may inwardly bring about. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that we should give you thanks and praise, O God, Almighty Father, for all you do in this world through our Lord Jesus Christ. For though the human race is divided by dissension and discord, yet we know that by testing us you change our hearts to prepare them for reconciliation. Even more by your Spirit you move human hearts, that enemies may speak to each other again, adversaries join hands, and people seek to meet together. By the working of your power it comes about, O Lord, that hatred is overcome by love, revenge gives way to forgiveness, and discord is changed to mutual respect. Therefore, as we give you ceaseless thanks with the choirs of heaven, we cry out to your majesty on earth, and without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfil when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. You.
In a similar way on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of per perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your Church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people, and may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Vincent our Bishop, and all the bishops, and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed Apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity, in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of peace of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. Now, obedient to our Lord's command, let's pray as he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously <clears throat> grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free me by this your most holy body and blood from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. The 
the blood of Christ. Let us pray. May the sacrifice, O God, remain active in its effects and work ever more strongly within us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for sharing the Mass with me today. Let me know of any prayer intentions that you have. Now, a prayer over the people. Abide with your servants, O Lord, who implore the help of your grace, that they may receive from you the support and guidance of your protection, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Let's go in peace now to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do take care and have a great day.